On Tuesday, officers made an arrest in a drive-by shooting that left a four-year-old boy hurt. Winston-Salem police tell us it was their real-time center cameras that actually helped to put the suspect behind bars. WXI 12's Fort Hatchet shows us the technology that's helping police solve crimes a lot faster. Inside the Winston-Salem Public Safety Center behind me, Winston-Salem police are using some existing resources combined with some new technology to fight crime more efficiently in the real-time crime center. So the real-time crime center has been a long-term goal for the agency that we've been able to develop recently. In January, we began the temporary setup of our real-time crime center, which is just a small-scale version of what we hope to evolve into. Plans are already being made to grow into a more sophisticated space, but for now, the Real-Time Crime Center compiles resources such as security camera locations to help law enforcement. Individuals and businesses can register their security or doorbell cameras with the Real-Time Crime Center. The department doesn't gain access to any footage without your permission, but the registration saves the department time that otherwise would be spent trying to identify any private security cameras near a crime's location. So we would essentially send an email request to the camera owner. They still have the right to share what they want based on our request. And then they send that in, so we don't have an officer knocking on everybody's door or business. Um, it saves time for the person who owns the camera footage. And we're able to do it, obviously, much more efficiently and get things done and hopefully solve crime even faster. Funding for the project came from a $700,000 grant included in the 2020 Strategies for Policing Innovation Project. Lieutenant Golden says respecting individuals' privacy remains a priority. And it's really just utilizing existing camera infrastructure throughout the city. So it's not going out there and doing anything new or anything different. It already exists. It's just how we access that is what we're changing. In fact, it was a nearby camera registered with the Real-Time Crime Center that helped police make an arrest in the Monday night shooting of a four-year-old boy on New Hope Lane. Lieutenant Golden says the center can even utilize the technology to help other agencies. For instance, um, if we have trauma victims, whether it's gunshot related or accident related, we're able to ascertain what kind of you know, injury they sustained and relay that to medical facilities in the area so they're able to prepare for treatment. And the hope is to have the full real-time crime center available for use by the end of this year. And anyone who wants to register their camera can find a link to do so on our website. In Winston-Salem, Fort Hatchett, WXII 12 News.